Hello, this is Devin from WordPress Theming, and I just wanted to explain how to use the gallery shortcode for WordPress. And this is what allows you to put gallery images on a page on your website. So if we look at this page here, this is a spot where I want to put in a bunch of photos. So what I'm going to do is edit the page. I'm going to click on my media uploader here. And if I don't already have my files in, I'm going to say select files, I'm going to choose the images I want, select, and then choose upload. But I already uploaded my images just to save time for this video. They're all right here. And to insert them into the page, I'm going to go ahead and click insert gallery. And that creates this little short code here. And you can place this anywhere on your page that you want. I am going to place it at the top. So you see right now there are no images on the page on the website. I'm going to click update. And now we see all the images there. And these images are maybe a little smaller than I want. So I'm going to go to my media settings down here. Right now the thumbnail is set for 100. I'm going to change it to 150. Click save changes and then refresh this page here. It should get bigger. Let me check the page again, gallery. Just do an update here. And now the images are slightly bigger. So if you're interested in more things you can do with the gallery, I'd suggest going to the codex at codex.wordpress.org slash gallery underscore shortcode. And I'll show you different things you can do, such as changing the number of columns. Um, you could display the gallery from a different page um, by specifying the page ID. You can, if you want, thumbnail images on one and then medium-sized images on another page, you can do that as well and captions, links, and all those other things. So again, that's at codex.wordpress.org, and um, hope you find this video useful.